Hello, I am Roaring Bug, and welcome to my Sims 4 speed build. Today's build is called Ginger Rose House, as you saw in the first image. Um, this house is actually a shell challenge by Miss Griffey. Uh, the shell challenge is hashtag Griffey, Griffey Dino Shell. And this is a really weird looking shell because it has that rounded roof that rounded wall piece in the front that, as you can see, I turned into... I just put like a rounded roof over it. And I didn't really know what kind of style to go with it. Uh, it's kind of a fusion of styles. It has some like Moroccan elements in it, but it sort of has like a Tudor style mixed in with it as well. So. I don't really know what style to call it. Oh, and I did like these like curved, slightly pointed roofs. And I had all these like weird spaces with the shell. And because I, I couldn't add any external walls. So I put a lot of these wall dividers on the outside of the build. And I did a lot of jumps like you. I spared you watching me fiddle, trying to raise those pieces into the right spot. Um, when I build, I'm not using any like tool mods to build. I'm just using the in-game like cheats, like move objects and raising objects in order to get everything in the right place. So there was a lot of struggle trying to get things to move in the right spot. And I raised the, the wall height a couple of times. So I had to adjust it in order to accommodate for every time I changed the height of the build. So I don't know. I, I, I can't really say what kind of style this house is. It's just this really weird kind of, like I said, it has like a Moroccan feel because of all of those like wall dividers. But at the same time, I use the wallpaper from like a Tudor style home from uh, from the get together pack. I I like it. I think it looks I think it looks interesting. I mean, I went for like kind of a reddy brown look and the interior is like very red. Hence the name why I called it Ginger Rose House. So, I the back was kind of weird. I mean, I tried my best to try and make this shell work. Like I had like that one little piece just hanging out in the back and I just put a roof over it so it kind of looks like something. Uh, I wasn't really sure what to do. I, I think it looked pretty okay. I mean, every angle of this build looks interesting. Like, there are no boring walls on any part of this house. I kind of like the rounded look, and I like this little, like, little bump out that she put on the second floor, because I thought it looked interesting, but I like Miss Griffey's builds. She specializes in tiny houses, and she roofs really well. Like... Most of the time when you build in The Sims, it's a struggle just trying to figure out how to roof your, your builds, but she makes it look easy. So, you know, I'm always impressed with how she, she does it. But I, I hope I did it justice by trying this, this shell challenge that she put together. Because like I said, it's just a really weird shape like architect wise it looks really weird it doesn't look like like it kind of looks like some people do shell challenges and they're, they're just like a pain to do like the official um i did a last last time i did shell challenge was the last build i did and it was the plum bob shape from ea that was their official shell challenge and you know that that has like no practicality but the only thing about their shell challenge is that 
they allowed you to do exterior walls. So you can kind of make it look like a shape that's more reasonable. So, you know, back to the build, I'm now furnishing the kitchen, which is the first room I furnished actually. And I don't normally do too much with kitchens because I feel like I couldn't do too much in this space. I just made it look like after I did that kitchen, I was like, okay, I guess this is the rest of the house is going to be Moroccan style. It's just going to be really red, really loud. I just wanted to do something with a lot of color. And apparently I chose like a red color this time around. I, I don't really go in with too much pre-planning when I build. I just, I kind of just did this in like, I don't know, it like, took me almost like two hours to do this build. And I, I thought like, I don't even know where I chose red. I just thought it would look good. Like, I don't know how many people do like planning when they do their builds in The Sims, but mm -hmm. I do not do that much planning at all. I usually just kind of have like a basic shape or I'll look at a Pinterest picture. I don't even look at a floor plan. I just look at like, like one image of like the front of a house and I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll try and do it. Um, I don't know if that's typical or not, but that's my, my method of building in The Sims. But you know, when I first started, I. I struggle trying to figure out how to use all the tools in The Sims. I, I guess I could have been smarter about it. I could have gone through the tutorials, but I just wanted to get my feet wet and just jump right in. So I made a lot of weird looking little boxes when I first started. Um, I know it's very basic, but the hardest thing I learned when I first started using tools to build homes in Sims was just how to lower a roof piece. Like that single like roof piece, I had such a hard time trying to like push it back down because I just didn't know how to mess with any of those little arrows on the roof pieces. So, you know, it's like stages learning how to do things, and picking up stuff from just watching videos. I pick up a lot of stuff just watching other people build on other YouTube channels. And that's how I got started doing my own YouTube channel. Just because I thought, hey, I really enjoy this. And, you know, it, it doesn't take too long to make, you know, a house in The Sims and try to figure out how to go how it goes together but um i mentioned in an earlier video of mine that my theory is that the more patience you have the more pretty your builds will be because normally when you do a build it's all the little pieces that you're willing to put together that make a build look really good so Right now, I just put down a desk for a computer, and a living room, and a piano, a chess table, and that is the wallpaper I chose. That is from the Paranormal pack, stuff pack, and I don't normally make rooms red, but it's such a really weird shape, and I thought it worked. I just felt like it would fit this space. And I didn't want to do like a really boring, like beige looking house. So that's why I picked this color. Actually, the last time I did the plum bulb shaped house challenge for EA, that house was modern and it was orange. So yeah, colors kind of just rotate. The last color I was really into was green. I find that the only color that's really hard to really like do a theme with in The Sims is purple. There are actually very few items in The Sims that are purple. 
which is a shame because <clears throat> when I do my own personal gameplay, I usually give my sim a color that that they're into. And it's really hard like when you make their favorite color purple because there is a very limited selection in the game. Uh, blue is like, I think, the most prominent color in the game actually. So right now I'm just putting curtains in this primary bedroom and I didn't want to make it red because I didn't want to make it too crazy with just one color. So this is just a two bedroom house and the second bedroom as you can see is a toddler slash child bedroom. Uh, it's kind of a small bedroom, but you know, it fits if it it's like your bedroom stuff, it's mainly like stuff for the toddler in that bedroom. And I put the the child skill building items in the hall on the second floor. And now I'm just doing the exterior. So in the exterior, I just put this like deck outside and as you saw, like every time I added more decking, it wouldn't mess with that wall divider. So I had to put it back. And I just gave everything like a stone decking because I thought it would match what I did with this house with the wallpaper. Like this brickwork, I feel like you gotta go with stone. So I'm just testing the outdoor lighting and just going around the build and just adding some outdoor furniture. I don't think I did too much, just the barbecue and that umbrella seating area. And I put down this hedge fence because this place strikes me as pretty classy. So I, it, feel, it felt like a house that would have a hedge fence. And I didn't want like out, outdoor sims, like just barging in using the barbecue or something. So I closed it off. So I got all the landscaping from Debug. And I got like these pillars and I thought it would help finish off the fence for the hedge. And now I'm just putting down a bunch of shrubs and just one tree in the yard. And I wanted a bunch of flowers in the front, but it's kind of hard because sometimes when you do landscaping, I'm always thinking like, am I doing too much? And does it look right? <laughs> so I just went with like these low, these low lying flowers. Cause I thought it would, it would, it wouldn't detract from, from the build because even though it's a shell challenge, I thought it came out looking pretty nice. Like, I like the shape. That curved shape, I think, is really good. And I'm just putting a couple of, like, more plants everywhere. So it just kind of, like, hugs around the house. Just making it look very cozy. And, you know, those hydraniums. I thought that looked that looked really cute and I'm just making sure that those flowers are not clipping inside the house so I'm just using the alt key to move it away from the wall and I just used terrain paint for the front so I just put more of this stone looking like uh, terrain paint and I'm just adding terrain paint all around the build just so that it'll blend in with the with the world a little better. I don't really do too much, I just kind of do it lightly all around. And uh, yeah, I put a mailbox. I'm like, forgetting mailboxes and trash cans is always like a thing I try to avoid. <clears throat> but um, I'm happy to say I did not forget those two items. And I put a swimming pool, which I thought looked 
pretty cute because I don't know, I just don't always put a pool in my builds, but I thought, hey, why not? It it'll look good. And I used the lights that, you know, just shine up because I thought that would look a little bit more fancier. Oh my God, yes. That little square in the corner, I didn't know how to make it look right. So I just turned it into a tiny planner and I just put a, a debug bush there. And yeah, now this is the end of my build. So my screenshots are from the top down and all around. And if you like this build, you can get off the gallery at Warring Bug. And please like, subscribe, or leave me a comment. Thank you for watching.